All right, you've created your screencast and you're ready to share it. What do you do? Well, let me take this as an opportunity to show you another feature of Jing. And by the way, here's our Jing Sun, which I have at the bottom of my screen, but you can store at the side or the top. So here's our Jing Sun. I'm going to show you the option called History. When you click on the History option, it brings up all the different things that you have recently created, the screen capture of images, as well as a video. With each of these, you have the following options. You can either view it, or you can upload it again to the same place you previously uploaded it, or you can delete it. Here's an important uh, point to, to listen to. If you delete something out of your history, it will not only delete it from your history, but Jing will also delete it anywhere that you use Jing to send it. Well, where are some places you might use Jing to send your, your screencast? Well, if you use Jing to save your screencast to your computer, it will delete it off your computer for you as a courtesy. If you use, screen, if you use Jing to send your screencast to YouTube or your image to Flickr, if you delete it out of your history, Jing assumes you also want to remove it from those sources too. How can you ensure then that you don't accidentally delete something from your history and lose your only copies of it? You can save your files to uh, a flash drive. You could copy a file already on your computer again. You could save your file to your computer and then separately upload it to YouTube or to Flickr. So just to let you know that if you do delete something out of history, it will also delete it anywhere that you use Jing to send it. Porting caveat. All right, let's take a look at this uh, video presentation, which was on the topic, creating Hello, a narrated PowerPoint. Show. And now that it's done, I'd like to go ahead and upload it and share it. Here are the okay. options. I can go ahead and click on this share via screencast.com. Screencast is a video and image hosting place, and you get a free two gigabyte account with your Jing uh, use. If I click here, it'll give me the URL, and that's wonderful. If I want to share that URL with a friend via an email uh, or a, a tweet uh, via a Twitter, I can also save the uh, video or uh, image to my computer. I can send the video to Camtasia Studio if I happen to own Camtasia Studio uh, version 6.0.1 and I can also just cancel this. Well I want to be able to upload this to screencast and get the embed code so that I can put this video within a blog post. Well, To do that I need to add a new button so watch carefully we're going to click on customize Jing buttons and here are our options. We want to click on new and when we do that, here are the different types of new buttons we can add. Uh, we can add a button to share via screencast, YouTube, Twitter, Flickr, uh, FTP, and so on. I want this to go to screencast. And what I want back is the embed code. So where it says clipboard contents, I'm going to tell it to give me the embed code. All right, and save. Now I have two of these tridents, if you will. One gives me the URL and the other gives me the embed code. Before I get going though, I need to close this uh, customized Jing buttons window. So click close. And now let's get that embed code. All right, it's uploaded and I have the embed code. Now I'll go ahead and bring up the, uh, let's see, the Ning discussion. So I have here in this Ning discussion post, it says this video shows you how to create a narrated PowerPoint presentation using Jing, and I have this DDD, and I have questions or comments, please share Robert. Why the DDD? That's where I want my uh, video to go. Okay, keep that in mind. Now embed code is not a pretty thing to look at, and when you insert it, you need to be in HTML mode, so I'm clicking on the HTML. This is true, by the way, whether you're working with Ning or your course management system. I'm looking for that DDD because that's where I wanted to put the, the video. Here it is. All right, I highlight it, I right click, and I choose paste. Whoa, there is the embed code. Not pretty to look at, but sufficient. Now I have my video here, and even though it looks like a red X, it'll work. Click on Add Discussion, and here it is. Looking good. Hello, this is Robert. Excellent. So, I hope that this helps. Uh, when you upload your uh, videos, you can send them to places like YouTube to share with everyone, to screencast if you want some more control, and also check out EduStream. It also is interesting for community college instructors.